Bees die when they sting. Honeybees are the only bee species that usually die after stinging, but they don't always die. Honeybees have barb stingers designed to dig into skin. When they sting a mammal, the barbs get stuck, and as the bee pulls away, part of its body tears off, therefore ending its life. But if they sting something with thinner skin, like another insect, the stinger slides back out, and the bee survives. Honeybees evolved their barbed stingers as a weapon against other insects, where they can sting multiple times and survive. But when it comes to thick skin mammals, the barbs get stuck. That might seem like a design flaw, but it's actually a survival strategy. When a bee dies stinging a mammal, it also releases powerful alarm pheromones. Those pheromones rally the entire hive to swarm and defend against the intruder, making the individual sacrifice worth it for the colony's survival. Meanwhile, other bees, like bumblebees and many solitary bees, have smooth stingers, meaning they can sting multiple times without dying. Since they live in smaller groups or alone, they don't rely on mass defense tactics like honeybees do. Bats are blind. The phrase blind as a bat is totally wrong. Bats can actually see quite well. Some species even see better than humans in low light. On top of that, they use echolocation, bouncing high-pitched sounds off objects to hunt insects in total darkness. The myth probably started because people saw bats at night and assumed they couldn't see at all. In reality, bats are both excellent listeners and solid visual hunters. Porcupines can shoot their quills. Porcupines can't launch their quills like arrows. Instead, the quills are loosely attached to their skin, so if a predator gets too close, they detach and stick into the attacker. Each quill is covered in microscopic barbs that make it dig in deeper and harder to pull out. Early explorers probably thought porcupines could shoot because they found quills stuck in animals without seeing how they got there. Horses sleep standing up. It's true that horses can rest while standing thanks to a special system of muscles and tendons that locks their legs in place. This lets them nap lightly and stay ready to run from predators. But horses can't get deep REM sleep unless they lie down. REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement sleep. It's the stage of sleep where the brain is most active and dreaming occurs. During REM, the body relaxes a lot. Muscles go almost limp, which is why horses need to lie down for it. Even though they can do light sleep while standing, they have to lie down every so often to get proper REM sleep and fully recharge. If they go too long without lying down, they actually suffer sleep deprivation. Goldfish have a three second memory. This myth makes goldfish sound like little swimming idiots, but the truth is they can remember things for months. Scientists have trained goldfish to push levers for food, swim through mazes, and even recognize different shapes and colors. So why do people believe otherwise? Probably because fish don't show emotions the way mammals do. It also doesn't help they're goofy looking, so it gives the perception they have low intelligence. But in reality, goldfish are far more advanced than we give them credit for. Camels store water in their humps. A camel's hump doesn't hold water at all. It stores fat. They use that fat as an energy reserve when food is scarce. What makes camels survival experts is their ability to conserve water better than most animals. They can lose a quarter of their body weight in water and survive. And when they drink again, they can take in up to 40 gallons at once. The hump full of water myth likely started because camel humps look like personal water reservoirs they always have access to. Penguins live in cold climates only. When most people think of penguins, they imagine Antarctica's icy landscapes. But not all penguins live in the cold. The Galapagos penguin, for example, lives near the equator where the climate is warm. Other species live in South Africa, South America, and even temperate regions of Australia and New Zealand. Perhaps the myth stuck because emperor penguins are the ones most often shown in documentaries and movies. Chameleons change color to match their surroundings. Many people think chameleons instantly shift their colors to blend perfectly with any background, but that's not how it works. Chameleons change color mostly for communication, body temperature control, and mood. A calm chameleon might stay light green or brown, but when it's angry, its colors can flare into bright yellows, deep reds, or even black. Males often flash these bold colors to impress females or warn rivals. The camouflage part is limited. Their skin tones can help them blend a little but it's not perfect. Dogs see only in black and white. It's true dogs don't see the same range of colors humans do, but they're not stuck in a black and white world. Dogs have two types of color receptors instead of three, meaning they mostly see in shades of blue and yellow. Reds and greens look more like browns and grays to them. 
The black and white myth probably started before scientists understood animal vision and people just assumed dogs saw no color. Piranhas are aggressive to humans. Movies often show piranhas as flesh-eating monsters that can strip anything to the bone in seconds. In reality, most piranhas are shy and avoid humans. Many are omnivores, eating fruits, nuts, insects, and the occasional small fish. They'll even scavenge on dead animals instead of hunting live ones. Attacks on people do happen, but they're usually quick bites during the dry season when water levels drop and food runs out. The man-eating myth came from early explorers in Hollywood. In truth, they're more scavengers than predators.